We might have been a little bit hasty jumping into the Hartlepool United job without really looking at the club. We are bottom of League Two and that is very much deserved because we have now played nine games in charge of Hartlepool and we've only gained two points. Can we start improving things today against third place Newport County in today? Today's episode of the Rerouted Journeyman. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And yep, absolutely massive game today. But then every game is massive for us until the end of the season now because we are properly in the mud. We are absolutely in a relegation fight. We have got Newport today. They are in very good form, but we need to start improving if we are to get ourselves out of this mess. I think I was definitely a little bit quick to take on this Hartlepool job because I saw the League 2 status and I jumped at it. But this club is down in this situation for a reason because, well, the players just are not good enough for this level. It's been very, very poor since we've last been together. You did just see the results in the intro, but let's have a bit more of an in-depth look at it before we do get into the game. You all saw the game against Exeter, my first one in charge. We were so unlucky to lose that game. 1-0 up we was until the 85th minute. And then they nicked it in the 93rd. What might have been if we could have held on for that win? We might never know. So I really think we could have gone on a run if we had we, we had won that first game. But was not to be. And then following that, we lost our next four as well. To make it our first five games without even so much as a point. We lost 3-2 to Mansfield, 1-0 to Barrow, 2-0 to Crawley and 4-1 to Sutton United. Absolutely awful performance that was. Really did get me thinking about what can we do. And so I think it's about here where I started changing tactics. Where's the formation? There it is. So if we just stretch that out a little bit. So where are we? We are down here at Sutton United. Yep, you can see we was mucking about with the formation here. 4 one 3 2 DM narrow. We tried for a couple games. That didn't work. And then the 4 4 2 I thought I'd go back to basics, just back to absolutely Sunday league football. But that really, really didn't work. And then we went to a 4-2-3-1. And that got us a one all draw against Walsall. Amadou Diallo on loan from my club, West Ham United, getting us our goal in that game. But then we got absolutely spanked again by Harrogate. 4-1, again with the 4-2-3-1 wide formation. Jack Diamond, Terence Carter and a guy by the name of Will Smith. Apparently he's taken time away from Bel Air to go and score a goal against us which wasn't too nice of him. And yeah, Luke Molyneux with our only goal of that game. We then went to a 5-2-3 and we lost 1-0 to Leighton Orient in the 91st minute. I was certain we had a draw in the bag there, but was not to be. And then last up, we went 4-3-3 against uh, Bradford. And we got a one-all draw. Mike Fondop getting us our goal there. A late one for us for a change to rescue a result there. We have changed up tactics once again. So let's go and have a look at that. 
before we get into today's massive game against Newport County. We are going with the 4-1-4-1 DM formation for today's game. I had a little look in the data hub just before recording today and it said that our favourite formation is a 4-1-2-3 and while I do like the idea of that I want us to be a little bit more defensively solid so we're going with the 4-1-4-1. Amadou Diallo, it does say he's only a one star for the left wing but if we push him forward, he does become a free star. So I think having him here and with Kokolo behind him, he should be okay. And like you saw when we was going through the results, he has already got a goal for us. So if he can carry that on, that would be very, very nice. So the team for today's game is Eastwood, Kokolo, Hendry, Odessina, Sterry, Featherstone in that very important DM role. Diallo, Mooney, Hollahan, Sivy, and Brennan. Jeremy Sivy, I can't remember, can't remember if I talked about him in the last video or not. Did I bring him in? Yes, I did. And I would have talked about him in the last video. He's been doing okay for us. He's played six games and got an average rating of 6.7 with the one goal. So hopefully him and Diallo on the wings should be able to do all right. And speaking of on the wings, this is why I've picked Diallo. 13 dribbling, 11 crossing, but 16 acceleration and 17 natural fitness, 13 pace. I am very much looking forward to seeing what he can do for us. He's one that I've brought in on loan since the last video. And also, one last signing I do want to highlight before we do get into the game. You can see him there. Adebayo Akinfenwa. We have signed him on a free transfer. He can't really run anymore, but he is strong as hell. He's determined. He's got good leadership. He's got decent finishing. Very good heading. He can still jump. So maybe for the last 10, 15 minutes of games, bring him on and see if he can nick us anything. But we're paying him £550 a week, which is quite a bit, quite a bit of money. But we have got loads left in the wage budget. So I thought I would absolutely splash it on him just because it's had a bayo like in Fenwa. And if you're down at this level and you've got a chance to, to get him, why not? So... Yep, that is all that done. Let's go and get into today's game against Newport County. Here we are in the dressing room. And what am I going to say to these lads? I think I'm going to say we're all sick and tired of getting bad results. No reaction from anybody there, really. Come on, somebody react to something I'm saying. Huzzah! Finally, a few people are motivated. And so we've got one, two, three, four motivated, one apprehensive, two unsure, and two of the subs. One is apprehensive and one is hesitant. Not a good start. I would love a 1 0 win. I just can't see it. I don't know what's going to happen today. But that's what I'm going to go with 1 0 win, heart overhead. Come on, Hartlepool. First highlight of the game, and it's us that have got the ball. Hollahan plays the ball out wide, but Norman heads it away. And now Hilton to Cooper, and Hilton is in space. Hilton is ahead of our defence, but our man makes a great block there. Jamie Sterry is with it, and he's coming away with the ball. Is this highlight going to carry on? Looks like it is. Brennan back to Kokolo, and now Kokolo with it. He's coming forward over the halfway line. Hollahan's in. Hollahan is in space. We're in. Come on, Hollahan. Come on. Oh, what a save. Hollahan really should have scored there. But that looked decent. I'm happy with how we have started this game. Mooney with a corner ball. He crosses it in. Butler heads it away. Jamie Sterry back to Mooney. And if he would like to cross it at some point, that would be rather nice. But no, he just feels like blocking it against Livermore. 
Half hour into the game now, Newport with a free kick, but we head it away. And now it's Mooney on the counter for us. Can he find a teammate? His striker might be offside, but not just yet. And now Mooney, he's going for it himself. He's gone for the long shot, and I really wish he hadn't. 41 minutes in now, Diallo, Brennan. Back wide to Diallo, and can he find a teammate? Yes, he does. Cocolo goes long. Brennan has got this. If Brennan's offside, this could be great. Brennan scores. Is that going to count? It is. Brennan scores. We are 1-0 up at Newport County. Yes, get in. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there is hope that we could stay up. That was a fantastic pass from Kokolo. And Brennan had it all to do, but he did it. 1-0 up just before half-time. Come on, lads. That is the half-time whistle. We are 1-0 up. And we have played very well. I've been very, very happy with this. We have had six shots to their three. They've had none on target to our four. Our XG is 0.54 compared to their 0.21. And we've absolutely dominated possession, which for an away team is very nice to see. I was really anxious before recording this video, thinking we was going to go down without a fight. But that does not look like that is what's going to happen. I'm going to say I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. And now look at that. That's some reaction from the lads. That is a lot, lot better. Very happy with that. Now please see this game out, boys. Please. Just over 20 minutes left in the game. We're just making the one sub. Gavin Holohan has gone off for Harry Charsley. As you can see, on the bench, we haven't got a great deal that we can change. So, it might be this team that ends the game. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next 10 minutes. Just over 15 minutes left. Newport have got the ball. Farkhausen, just outside our box, gets it to Bennett, who crosses it all the way to the other side. He'll win with a header. And, oh, Eastwood. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, that was offside anyway, but that was nervy for a minute as it just kept on pinging between the keeper and the attacker. Please, just see this game out. I am so nervous. About a minute later, and we've now got a free kick. It's Featherstone with it. He crosses it into the box. Sivy's in space. Sivy makes it 2. Sivy makes it 2-0. We're going to get our first win in charge of Hartlepool at only the 10th attempt. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I am so relieved. And what a nice goal that was. Very, very well worked between Featherstone and Sivy. I don't care if it was offside, as in fact it wasn't. So, yep, 2-0 to the Hartlepool boys. 2-0 to the Hartlepool boys. Oh, one more highlight. We've just gone very long, but Newport have picked the ball up. Demetriou to Cooper. Wide to McFadden. McFadden with it. Can we get this ball back here? Come on, do not concede. Do not concede. Hilton's going to have the header, and thankfully that nestles safely on top of the net. Five minutes left. Mooney now with a free kick for us. Sivy with the header, and that's gone wide as well. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! We have got our first win in charge of Hartlepool, and it could not have gone much better. The second half was better for Newport, though, but we did manage to see out the win. They ended the game with 14 shots to our 12, 6 on target to our 7, an XG of 2.05 to our 1.12. Don't really see that from the highlights we saw. I don't really see how they could have got two goals, but the XG is saying what's the, what the XG says. And so, yeah, we dominated possession 60%. Wowzers. And look at those performances. Brennan with a 7.5. Diallo with a 7. Mooney with a 7.5. Featherstone with an 8. 
Coca-Cola with an 8.1. It has all been very, very nice today. Let's go and congratulate the boys. What a win. You certainly made our doubters eat their words. Yes. So now let's go and see when we're going to come back for the next video. I'll be with you in two ticks. We are now well and truly back in with a chance of escaping relegation. We're now only two points behind Scunthorpe in 22nd place, even though they do have a game in hand. This game, of course, being played on the Friday night. So we really need to hope that Scunthorpe fail in that game. In fact, just before we go, who are they playing in that game? They are playing uh, Salford, who are 15th. We're going to need a hand. We are going to need a hand from Salford. Hopefully, we can get it. And so, where shall we come back? I don't want to play that many games because there's not that many left. I think maybe come back for Port Vale. Port Vale are down and around us in the bottom of the league. So we're going to come back for Port Vale next. And then depending what happens with the rest of the season, we'll either come back for a double header, Scunthorpe in Colchester, or just Colchester on the last day, depending on what's going on with the league. And so, yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed that video and that performance from the lads, drop us a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. There is a whole lot going on. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And I shall see you next time.